Hello and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 80 and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And uh, we are in the middle of doing a little bit of leveling, uh, working with some crew stuff before we move on to Onderon. And um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. And then uh, going from there. I wanted to finish upgrading armor and weapons on all the droids and stuff, and I can't do that until I level them. And I try to do all the leveling on camera because of all the decision making that goes in. And so you can see the choices I'm making, hear why I'm making those choices, and then when you go to play, you know, decide for yourself which which, uh, which you liked, which you didn't. And there's nothing wrong with uh, you know making suggestions in the comments when this shows up later on YouTube. Or if you're already there on YouTube, you should go to YouTube. Throw in some comments. Okay, let's uh now now let's take uh Goto and see what I can do with him. So let's level him up. I I'm pretty sure he's gonna turn out to be my another skill guy. Yeah, cause oh he only gets four skill points though. Okay, um, all right, so let's keep computer use maxed out. Let's keep security maxed out. And as much as I want to bump up awareness, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just keep dumping it into repair. And then when I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll try to get demolitions in on this. Or do I just do stealth? Either way, I'm not going to upgrade stealth until I make that a, an actual class skill. That might be an option. All right. Computer use, security, and repair goes up a couple. And then accept. And level and attributes. Oh, yeah. He's got a really nice dex. He's got a surprisingly high constitution. And his intelligence, man, if he has four skill points per level, and his intelligence modifier is a plus three, that means that as a droid, he gets one skill point. Hmm. I guess he's not that kind of droid. So what do I want to do with him? I, there's no point in giving him strength. He's not engaging in melee. He can't even equip a melee weapon, last I checked. Although I should probably check that before I go too much further in the leveling. No, I'm not even... No, what? No. O -o other than HK, why do you give a droid a melee weapon? You don't. So the question is, is do I want to bump up his con and get some more hit points in him? Although it's 16, that that's pretty high. So I think I might... Uh, Dump points into intelligence, at least until I get it up to 18. And then, and then reconsider from there. Alright, and skills. We got computer use and security and repair. Oh my. Okay. Level up. Skills and computer use and security and repair. Almost. Feats. Now, we, oh, yep. See, he's got the same limited feat selection as T3. So, do I want to bump up his two-weapon fighting? Because he has two weapons. He's clearly getting set up for that. Do I want to give him improved caution, which would give him a bump to demolitions and stealth? It's not a bad option. Or do I want to give him master gearhead, which would help his repair, security, and computer use? Um, or do I want to get him that weapons focus blaster pistol? That's a thought too. I wonder if I give him that upgrade that uh, gives you all the bonus feats. If that means he'll actually be able to use a blaster rifle. Or if it's one of those it's physically not possible type deals. So I'll hold off on the weapons focus blaster pistol for the moment. And I'm not going to give him toughness. Um, I might, I 
might give him demolitions as a class skill. Now let me bump up his two weapon fighting because that that's gonna that's gonna help me right now, and it's gonna help me ongoing. All right, so let me check real quick. Okay. So it yeah so melee is not even an option with him. I I don't know what. Wait, was it melee? What was I? I was supposed to check him. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. If I gave him the warfare upgrade, would that allow him to take a rifle? Yes. Yes, it will. Okay. Hello, Beach Duck. All right, so that is good to know. That means that I can use Goto as either the, the, the two weapons or... Yeah, that gives me options. I like options. Options are good. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, level them up some... Ooh, droid trick. What does the feet droid trick do? All right. Let's uh, bump up computer use and security. And now his repair is maxed out. I guess I can't give him stealth as a uh, class skill because the only one that, it, that looked like it would let me add is demolitions, which is interesting. All right, and let's level up. And let's go skills, security, repair, computer use. And I guess we're putting in an awareness because we can't give him persuade. There, there's no point in giving him treat injury. So, uh, okay. And accept. And let's level him up. And let's bump up his intelligence again. Okay. And the skills. This means that we can go computer use, repair, security. And I might be able to bump him up on stealth one more anyway. Because that's going to take two points. But I, I don't know that I want to keep doing that out of loss. I'd much rather make demolitions a class skill and keep giving him demolitions. So I think for now, I'll just dump both of those into awareness. And he's already got the uh, weapons focus through the upgrade. Oh, droid trick. Droid trick distracts a droid target, making it easier to sneak by them. If the target fails a will save of DC 5 and the attacking character's level in Wisdom and Charisma modifiers, then they are distracted for 30 seconds. Okay. 5 plus Wisdom and Charisma means 5 because his Wisdom and Charisma are 10. That, that, that actually incentivizes... You know what? Now that, it, now that his intelligence is up to 18, I might start putting... Uh, I might start putting ability score points into wisdom so I can get his wisdom up a little bit more and, and maybe take advantage of this droid trick. That's an option. That is an option indeed. All right, let me cap off the uh, master two weapon fighting. Uh, what, the, the wisdom for my main character? Droid trick distracts a droid target, making it easier to sneak by them. If the target fails a will save of DC 5+, plus, the attacking character's level and wisdom and charisma modifiers. Alright, so I do get his level, but it's not the main character, it's the attacking character. So that means it's going to be Goto's level and wisdom and charisma modifiers. Distracted targets won't notice the player unless the player gets too close or interacts with them. But, uh, no, not on this one. There are some other stuff that works that way, but not on this one. Um, all right. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and cap off this Master 2 weapon that, uh, reduces the penalty and we'll accept and he's got a couple more levels to go 
upgrade class three, which is one of the big things I was trying to get for him for the armor and whatnot. And we'll go security repair, computer, and awareness. All right, accept and level up. Yep, same skill bumps. Level up. All right, now, Scramble Droid. Scramble Droid can actually cause a hostile droid to fight for you. If the target fails a will save of DC-5 plus the attacking character's wisdom and charisma modifiers, then they will fight your opponents for 30 seconds. Only one droid can be affected by Scramble Droid at a time. This power only works on droids. Sentient beasts and uh, sentience and beasts are immune. That's kind of nice. Uh, if I ever saw an incentive to crank up wisdom and charisma, that's it right there. All right. I don't need to do the weapons focus because he's already got that through a, um, a thingamajig. Do I want to give him the improved caution, the improved gearhead, or get demolitions into the uh, skill set? I'm tempted to do the demolitions just because it gives me a better place to put the extra skill points from the higher intelligence than, than awareness. Because uh, right now i got enough people that have been dumping points into awareness that somebody's going to spot it long before he catches up. Uh, so demolitions and stealth or repair, security, and computer use. Since repair, security, and computer use are already his higher ranking skills, let's go ahead and bump those. Although. Although. Toughness would be nice. My droids are a little squishy. Extra hit points are always good. Ooh, let's do the extra hit points. He could use it. He's looking a little soft. Alright, attributes. So we got his intelligence up to 18. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep bumping that up. Uh yeah, no, I'm not going to keep pumping that up. I'm going to start dumping this into Wisdom until I get that up to at least 14, and then we'll go from there. Skills. Computer use. And there we go. And... Uh, I, I hate dumping points in at a loss for stealth and demolitions. <sighs> nope. Okay. Accept. And level up. And skills. There we go. And accept. And there we go. So now, my almost as dark droid is almost as bad as uh, HK. Let's go ahead and finish equipping him. I'll, I'll have to figure out the weapons in a minute. Droid defense is okay. That's a lot of different absorbs for up to 60 points. That's the same number for 80 points. So let's go ahead and upgrade his uh, shield there. He's already got the droid repulsor, which might slow. Don't like that one though. Uh, I'd much rather have that neural scroll Scrambler. DC 15, DC 20. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get him. Ooh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find some more uh, armor with an upgrade with a defense bonus of nine. Alright, let's get him the quadrium armor, since that's the best I got on me. I need to like leave a note or something about that all right so he's got the stun on the one hand I could paralyze the problem is I, I'm a little short on medium range medium range options so I can give him the ion striker 
All right, Goto targeting module. Bonus feat. Improved power, rapid sniper. Oh, never mind. He is totally going to keep that. Bonus feats are always nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I guess what's the next one? Reflex saves and decks. Computer use. Uh, oh, the motivator booster. Because there's an extra defense bonus. Is there another one that has a higher defense bonus? Nope. Okay. Defense. Oof. Okay. That, that I feel a little bit better about. All right, so the blaster rifle is 1 to 12. Uh, those are all blaster pistols, so let's go ahead and go with that. That's yeah, 1 to 8. 1 to 10. Um, except that does an extra 1 to 6 electrical. Hmm. What's he got in his other hand? Droid oxidizer. Alright, you know what? I, I think I'll leave his uh, equipment as is for the moment. I'm going to get Atten a better sword too. Alright, I've only got a few minutes left, so... Let's uh, double check who else can we go ahead and level. Very good. Remove, remove. I'm not bringing Mira because I want to convert her to a Jedi before I level her. Same thing for the Handmaiden. So I guess let's add Korea. And just because I need somebody on the to round out the team. There we go. Let me finish leveling up my Jedi Consular. All right, let's level it up. And where do we want to put the attributes? Uh, she has no strength whatsoever. <laughs> I, I could start bumping that up right now. Although, uh, wisdom's always good for a Jedi. The charisma is not bad either. Um, although, dropping one more point in constitution does two things. That gets her some much needed hit points and it means that she can take the highest level implants. Uh, as far as I can tell, the, the top level implants require a constitution of 18. So I might do that and then, and then reassess. Yeah, let me do that and then I'll reassess from there. All right, and skills, that's right, she's got awareness. Oh, she's my stealth person. There we go. And treat injury and repair for some reason. All right, powers. What do I want to do for her? All right, she's topped out on the stuns. I can't give her the next heal. As much as I'd love to give her the upgraded burst of speed, I, I I I deeply hate the effect that the visual effect that it does on your characters. On the other hand, defense is increased by four, and you get one extra attack per round. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I hate that power, the blind and abiding passion, but I love four defense and one attack per round. Upgraded. All right. And let's level her again. Skills. She's got a couple skills because why not? And powers. All right. She still can't get the top level heal. Master speed. Defense. Is, oh. Defense is increased by four, and two extra attacks per round are gained. Uh, that's not a bad idea. And then the next level, I can top off Battle Meditation, and then I can work on the Energy and Force Barrier. Yeah. All right. 
Must master the speed. Because what's better than one attack, one extra attack per round? Two extra attacks per round. All right. So that's everybody that I'm going to level for now. Uh, since I've got a short amount of time, I don't think this will take long. Um, what I didn't realize is that when you talk to this guy, because I was going to sell some of the uh, some of the parts that that I didn't need and see if it was worth selling for the credits, and I noticed a conversation tree that I missed after getting a particular part of that blast request. Welcome back. How may Samhan Dobo assist you? I should have been asking him about the Shady Blaster. Who would have thought? Ask the Shady Merchant about the Shady Blaster. What can you tell me about this? Give it here and let me take a look at it. Yes, that's very interesting. Good craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. But no, I can't tell you anything about it other than it's a holdout blaster. Upgraded. I think there's something you're not telling me. I'm trying to track down the source of black market goods. I want to know who sold the weapon I was attacked with. Alright. I'm definitely thinking either the first option or the third option. With, I think there's something you're not telling me, or I want to know who sold the weapon I was attacked with. Let's go with that one. I will admit that I sold it, but I sell a great many things. You cannot hold it against me for doing business, can you? Perhaps you should be more careful about who your weapons are purchased by. Nah. I heard that there's a healthy trade in black market goods on the Citadel. I'd like to get involved. Do you know anything of the smuggling operation on the station? Let's try that. I know that is an extremely lucrative arrangement. You might say my knowledge is... first-hand. <laughs> Are you an idiot? You just incriminated yourself. I'll report you to the TSF. I'd like to help. I expect the pay is good. Well, given who I have with me, I guess I expect the pay is good. <laughs> I pay extremely well given the dangerous nature of the work. That is, as long as you do remember to carry out your tasks discreetly and effectively. Come on, man. Look at who I got with me. Doesn't that just scream discreet and effective? Okay, maybe not discreet. Um, what can I do for you? Basically, there are three items I need to fill out my next shipment. Leaves from the something or other plant from the Ethlorian's Vivarium. A personal shield unit being kept in their docking bay. Okay. So here's the question. Yes, I've been... Uh, why do you ask? Okay. So he's basically pointing out the Vivarium in case you missed it. Uh, oh. <laughs> what they don't know is that a few of their plant specimens have other uses. Other uses, you say? Indeed, there are buyers that would be willing to pay large sums of credits for extracts from them. So, uh, he wants us to get the special herb from the Ethlorians that can be used to make extracts. What does he think this is, Wyoming? Alright, so I just need to walk in there and take a plant. All this trouble for a few potted plants. What is it you need? Uh, okay. I need you to get a few leaves of a particular specimen. Just a few leaves, mind you. No reason to take any more than necessary. If, <laughs> if they don't notice, we can just replenish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of figured that they were. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> you should be careful. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll leave it to you to figure out the best way to get the leaves. 
Yeah, I'll be back when I have them. <laughs> Journal entry and XP. All right. So we got the smuggling and he wants us to acquire some leaves. And we got a list of the items that we are, that he's in need of. I am going to rotate out my party real quick because I'm going to do a good thing. And those are not the two that I want to have handy when I do good things. Okay. I know, I know. She needs to be leveled. She's not going to be, but she needs to be. All right. Let us run to the head of the TSA and see if we can um, report in the smuggling thing first. Because as much as I'm tempted to go ahead and go with two of the three, I don't know if I can... Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. All right. Hello, so Lieutenant. You've so you've returned. Uh, Sam Hain wants me to get three things for him. Then he'll make a shipment. If we knew when he was going to make a shipment, then we could catch him. What are the three things he needs? Leaves from the Bacchanai plant, their prototype shield unit, and medical supplies. All that? If that's the size and substance of his usual shipments, it helps explain quite a bit. It will take mm -hmm. some time for me to assemble those. <laughs> Time passes. All right, everything's here. Do -do 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 -do. Take these to Samhan. After that, come back to me and tell me the exchange has been made, and I'll go to the dock module to wait for him. If he won't let you leave until the transaction's completed, go with him. I'll post one of my men near the docking bay, and if he spots you, he'll summon me. Understood? All right, I understand. Just make you sure you're there. Sounds pretty dangerous. Just remember that when it's time for my fee, we'll just see what happens. I understand. I'll be there, don't worry. Uh -huh. You just make sure you get him to the docking bay. We have to catch him in the act. Of course you do. Journal entry added. XP. Items received. Secure goods case. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it's we're not carrying that much. It's what, a couple of leaves? Alright, so we got the smuggling bit. Let's, um... Go run back around. I don't know why I didn't get... Oh, because <laughs> I didn't notice the conversation tree. I, I really wish I'd done this earlier when we were last year. Because uh, the XP gains are kind of small now. Now that we're like level 17. Alright. May maybe I should grab Korea for the uh, speed boost to run down the corridors. Welcome back, Kalme Samhain Dobo. I've got the items you were looking for. Incredible! This is quite a windfall. I wish I had employed your services earlier. With all this, I'll be able to have the shipment read. Yada yada. If you could, would you escort me to the Zerka docking bay? I don't wish to take any chances. Sure. When do we leave? No point in wasting time. Of course not. Let's go. Well, let's go. About time you showed up, Saman. Get your things Saman. loaded. I'm already behind schedule. All right, it'll only take a minute. No need to get work so worked up over it. You don't understand how it is with Zerka. When the process stops working like clockwork, questions get asked, and we don't want questions asked, do we? Yes, yes, I get the point. I could do this faster if you he helped instead of standing there complaining. The faster we get this loaded, the faster we can get it out of here. Stop mm -hmm. right there. You're all under arrest and your possessions will be seized as evidence. This is ridiculous. The TSF cannot just barge in here as they please. Oh yes, they can. They just did. Samhan. Don't bother protesting your innocence. We know all about your business thanks to our friend here. I'm just glad to be rid of the scum. What can I say? The TSF officer was better. Glad to be of help, Lieutenant. I mean... TSF offer was better. But no. Nah, you won't see me burn. You don't have the credits to hire somebody who can do that. Oh! Oh, so we're gonna do this. You, you, you're seriously gonna... You're seriously gonna try a shootout with three security officers, my three people, 
And I don't think Zerka Dude over there is going to do anything. So, let's uh, hit you with the stasis field. And then do some flurries. Let us test <laughs> that, that wasn't even fair. All right, I surrender. I surrender. Arrest me and put me in your force cage. I have no desire to continue this fight. All of you, come with me. This is a foolish error you have made, Lieutenant Gren. You cannot hope to keep me here. I think you may be overconfident your chances, Samhan. We okay. now have evidence of your smuggling operation, and even the Council cannot ignore that. Again, I have you to thank. Without your assistance, it would have been impossible for us to place oh, impossible. under arrest. It was necessary to remove this credit. If you want to thank me, credits will do just fine. That is tempting. I think it would have been just easier just to kill him. Ooh, I got the wrong crew for that answer. Should have kept HK-47 for that. All right, it was necessary to remove this criminal. Now we can be certain he will be removed. Sure. I believe a long sentence awaits him. Sure. The Citadel will be rid of his influence for good, though there is always the possibility another will take. Not his the place. possibility. Another's going to take his place. I promise to pay for your assistance, and I'll keep my word. Now I must attend to my other duties. Again, thank you for your help. Five hundred credits. Let the good times roll. Oh yes. I'm rich, I'm rich. I will retire early and give up this life of wandering. No, now now I gotta remember that line from uh Firefly when they uh, was a Firefly or Ser no Serenity. When they open up the safe and they see just a couple of sad stacks of bills. Come on, I know one of you knows the quote I'm thinking of. I'm waiting for Arcadius to pop it up. Okay, so it was the movie. All right, and 150 XP, some light side points gained. And there we go. So we are now all caught up on mission logs and quests. And we've done everything we could in all the other areas. Uh, next shopping spree, I may have to head back over here to, to see if his brother's got anything worth uh, worth buying. But that's not going to be an option for right now because I want to move forward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself right up to the dock. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. She needs to level, but I need to I need to just start training her in Jedi stuff first. This is the way we run the hallway, run the hallway, run the hallway. Alright. To the airlock. Ow. Open the airlock to Cargo Bay 1. Alright, before I board the Evan Hawk, let me save the game. Because we, we'd still manage to accomplish some stuff. And... You'll have to find out what happens next in the next episode. Unless you're watching live. Stay tuned if you're watching live. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. 
And uh, with all that said and done, we're uh, we're gonna cut out. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.